welcome to science lesson. I'm Teacher Faith. Our topic today is weather, and our subtopic is measuring weather. And under that, we want to look at, or we are still looking at a windsock. And for now, I want us to look at how a windsock works. So by the end of this lesson, you will be able to state how a windsock works. So before we start, I want you to get your pen and the book. Now children, in our previous lesson, we looked at the uses of a windsock and we also looked at the materials required for making or for constructing a windsock. And we see a windsock is used to show or determine both the strength and direction of wind. And we also constructed our windsock. Let's now see how it works. So number one, the windsock should be big, white, and black streaked. Why? Why is it supposed to be big, white, and black streaked? To make it easy for the pilots to see. And my question is, who is a pilot? A pilot is a person who flies aeroplanes or an aeroplane. Then place the windsock in an open place. Next, when the wind is strong, the windsock fills with air and lies at 90 degrees to the post. Then when there is no wind, the windsock lies loosely by the side of the post. Then when the windsock is filled with air, it points in the direction towards which the wind is blowing. Like this one here, you can see it. You can see where it's pointing. It points the direction towards which the wind is blowing. Then a windsock, we have places where windsocks are used. But a windsock is mainly used at airports to give pilots information about the direction and strength of wind. Then a windsock is open at both ends. If you look at the one we constructed, it's also open at both ends. So children, that is how a windsock works. So before we end this lesson, I want you to do this work and it's only two questions. These are only two questions. Question one, why should a windsock be painted black and white? Then question two, name one place where a windsock is mainly used. So up to that point, we come to the end of our lesson. And in our next lesson, we shall look at another weather instrument and that is a thermometer. Thank you for your attention and we shall meet later. Subscribe for more videos. Like this video if you learned something. Please don't forget to share.